hi i'm here today to present to you guys that i'm a bad bitch period Santa, baby slip a sable under the tree for me been in a focus girl santa baby hurry down a chimney tonight We're about to get ready because it's Christmas Eve Eve. And oh my God, look at my, look at me. So let me just put my contacts on real quick and I'm gonna show y'all how we transform. Okay, so now that my contacts are in, I'm gonna show y'all the brand I wear. Y'all always ask me, they're Air Optics. And these are prescription because I do wear less. So yeah, I got the campfire going on. Not campfire. The fireplace thing going on. So yeah, I just wanted to this to be like a little chill, cozy, get ready with me because today is Christmas Eve Eve and I just got my hair done and I just want to get cute because I haven't felt cute in a while. Like look at my nails, they are so ugly. And I wanted to take the time out to tell y'all my 2020 glows because y'all know 2019 is ending. It's crazy that this year has come to an end so fast like that shit is crazy so remember do not waste your time on nobody or nothing that's not benefiting you this upcoming year because look how just fast this time like look how fast this year just went like every year i realize like i can't be wasting my time on bullshit like i just realize it all the time before we even get started into the video i wanted to talk about my hair this hair is you nice hair Eunice, you nice. And oh my god, I just got it done yesterday. It's definitely Kim K vibes, you know, her shortcut. It was flipped like that. It's, I gotta fix my baby ears. But this hair though, it looks like scalp. Like I just woke up, so excuse that. So I, this hair is super nice. Um, I cut it, well my hairstylist cut it into like into like a shortcut because we were going for that Kim K like flip up that I just said. And I really like it. it was really I've been wanting to do this hairstyle for a while and this hair is really soft um they really been coming through with the laces it has minimal shedding which I love because I do not like getting hair all over like I just hate it just hate it so much so yeah I'm just gonna curl it because I don't want it to be too structured and too bumped because I like messy hairstyles like messy and loose and this is a lace wig and as you can see it's able to be in a half up half down which i love that's one thing that i have to have like in a wig i have to be able to style it however i want um i just sometimes don't want to wear it like you know in the regular middle middle part or a party way i want to be able to style it different ways so yeah Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, bum bum. Okay, so basically it's just gonna look just like this. But I'm gonna fix it more like once I put like my makeup and stuff on. But yeah, it's super cute. I really highly recommend this cute hairstyle. Like, it's just cute and sporty and girly. I just love it and this wig is so bomb so make sure you check out my description box below so y'all can order y'all you nice hair because am I really because their lace is like scalp and that's what we want that's what we want for 2020 like nothing more nothing less I want scalp okay and that's period now I'm just gonna get into my makeup y'all I've been trying new under eye creams because girl I have not been getting enough sleep and it's annoying me because y'all know I work at 4 in the morning and oh my god like I come home and I have to do stuff meet deadlines and that's one thing I want to work on in 2020 like I want to be more organized like I don't want to um I want to be more organized. I want to be more put together because I just be all over the place. I don't be meeting deadlines. I be late. I just need to get my life in order. In order, sweetie. And I just, as I'm growing older, I need to have like some structure, some organization in my life. 
so that's what I really want to focus on in 2020. Y'all, New Year's is finna be crazy. Like, <laughs> I'm nervous, excited. I told y'all I'm going to the fight and stuff like that. Well, I didn't really tell y'all, but yeah, it's just a lot of going on. And it's finna be crazy, like crazy. So being organized is one of my goals that I wanna accomplish in 2020. Like, I really don't, it's not really a goal. It's just like a lifestyle you know change so i guess that's what you can call it like be more organized and stuff like that and i want to be more open with y'all this year whatever like i go through i want to let y'all know like what it is like i don't want to hide it from y'all i really don't go through too much that i haven't already told y'all already so yeah but if anything comes down to it um I just want to be more open. I want y'all to feel like y'all are close to me. And yeah. I don't want to, like, if I was watching somebody, like, I'd be wanting to know everything. I'd be like, what happened? Like, what? What's the tea? Like, don't be half assing us. Like, we want to know all the details. Like, why are you trying to come halfway, sis? Like, don't be halfway with us. And I don't want to be halfway with y'all. I want y'all to know everything. Because. I love y'all so much. Also, another goal of mine is I really want to discover, I just want to be more about business. I want to see like what type of business I want to get into. Like what do I want to do as far as me having my own. Like I just don't want to sell shit. Like I could sell hair. Like I could sell like little boutique clothes but I don't want to do that because like I want to do it because I love to do it but the one thing I really do want to do because that I'm really like I love like I've been obsessed with my lips this year so I know um, I want to just I, I think I want to <laughs> I don't know like I what I, have, I love nude lipsticks I love nude combos like I'm obsessed with it like I just love nudes like I love enhancing my lips because lips are just like oh baby doll like, so I want to come out with like a lip gloss or a lip liner or something like a little cute lip combo at, at affordable price like but I don't want my shade looking like AliExpress like you got me fucked up and I want to get more creative on YouTube I want to um expand on like more than just like vlogs and stuff like i want to stand out this year i feel like this year is going to be a really good year and i'm just focused and driven so i also want to take more trips this year i really want to take a solo trip like that's one of my goals to do it's really scary because nowadays like girl you got to watch your back like you got to carry maids you it, people just out here kidnapping girls sex trafficking and stuff like i'm not trying to get sex traffic like i just really don't and i feel sorry for all the victims and if you are if you have been sex trafficked or a victim of sex trafficking if you watch my videos um i'm so happy so sorry that you had to go through that traumatizing experience but i just do not want to get <laughs> kidnapped like girl that's like my biggest fear and my one of my biggest fears is hitting a deer like <laughs> every time i'm driving because i drive like in um like a whole bunch of open roads with like deers and stuff like that that's one of my biggest fears too i'm like oh hell no I just want to be, I just want to take risks this year. I just don't want to be afraid to take a risk. Like, I'm just so fucking scary. I'm a scary ass bitch. But I need to stop. Like, I need to stop having these thoughts in my head. Like, what if it don't work out? Like, I mean, if it doesn't work out, I mean, at least I can say I didn't try, you know? Be able to not hold back from a lot of things. I just want to make a lot of decisions on my own. And oh my god, I hate that. Like, I love my mama so much. Like, I love her. Like, she's the most dearest to my heart. But y'all, like, she, all my life, like, I've been, like, she's been, like, the backbone of everything. So, her opinion matters to me. Like, 
are y'all like that do y'all have to be like mama like do you have to tell your mama what you doing like all the time like like not what you doing but asking her for advice on everything like you always have to have a second opinion and my second opinion is my mother like i will always take her shopping with me like i'll be like i will always want her to come shopping with me because she always uh picks out the best shit um like she was like the head um fashion like <laughs> fashion salesperson for bcbg like she was always styling clients of hers like they were coming to see her so i always took her shopping with me because she has a good eye for fashion and looks and stuff like that so but yeah that's besides the point but like for me like deciding anything i'd be like asking her like her opinion and she'll be like sometimes she'll be like I don't think it's a good idea. Like, I shouldn't, like, hold back because sometimes she'll say. <clears throat> she'll, sorry. She'll voice her opinion on something and then I'll just have second thoughts about it. But a lot of things she had um, thoughts about that I just did anyways. And it came out proving her wrong. So, like, a lot of shit. I just i just want to stop being scary and listening to people's opinions and just do my own thing you know do my own thing and i also i need to my grandma watches my videos hey granny if you're watching this i'm gonna go visit her i have not seen my grandma in I haven't been on my father's side. Well, I should say sperm donor side in a while. So I need to make that a goal this year to go to turn. Like, it's sad to say, like, make that a fucking go. But, you know, a lot of family issues. It's a lot of family problems, especially for African American girls. Like, it can happen in, like, a Caucasian ho household. But more than likely, it happens in the African American household. We have to deal with fathers and stuff like that we have to deal with daddy issues and i have a lot of daddy issues like <laughs> so that would like take a toll on me i would get angry a lot about some things but that's in my past so but yeah um growing up with, grow, growing up without a father is hard because like you want your father to be there you want a father figure in your life to show you like what kind of dudes you should date like and be there to like question the dude to be like if you fuck up if you fuck up with my daughter i'm gonna beat your ass or something like that like show some like i don't know i don't know how to explain it but yeah that's why i'm scared to have kids y'all because i really want like if I have a daughter, I don't want her going through the same shit that I had to go through. So, hmm. And what else do I want to do this year? I want to take my solo trip. Um, be more open with y'all. Organize entrepreneurial goals. What are y'all goals this year? What are y'all? What do you want to accomplish in 2020? You need to comment that down below. You, if you want to start a YouTube channel, you need to do that ASAP. Okay, y'all, I love my hair. It's just so cute. Like, I can't wait to, like, put on, like, a cute sporty outfit and, like, some shoes. This will look so cute with that type of shit. That type of vibe, you know? Oh, I know what I want to do. <laughs> I want to start dating more. Like, I know. I'm gonna start taking that. Like, if somebody wanna find me out, I'm not being scary no more. I'm about to go. Like, I'm gonna fucking leave. Like, I'm done. Like, being like, oh, I'm not gonna go. But <sighs> I know y'all are probably like, oh, she just want like a rich nigga. I mean, don't nobody want no broke nigga. And like, I don't attract broke niggas. Like, so don't be getting mad at me because. And the number one thing that I have on my list is obviously to move. I'm out of here. I'm out of this joint. Okay. 
I'm out. I need to go. But I'm not gonna talk about that anymore. I'm just gonna put everything in the works. So yeah, I don't wanna be, and I don't wanna be a talker. I wanna show out, show up. I can back up everything that I talk about. So I'm not gonna be too much of a talker this year. I'm just gonna be all about actions, okay? So oh, this is what I wanted to do. Wing liner, I finally got the NYX mats. I finally re-upped on this, so let's see if I can still do this, because I haven't done a wing liner. It's so long. Ew, my nails are so ugly. <gasps> I got a nail appointment tomorrow. <sighs> I need to be well rested, because I need to go to Chicago tomorrow. Oh, yes, I still fucking got it. Woo! Damn, I did that, okay. Okay. And y'all, I really wanna know, I really wanna learn how to twerk. Like, <laughs> I know like, that's like silly to say, but listen, I'm trying to learn how to twerk some. Twerk some real quick. Like, like some Megan shit, like. <laughs> like some Megan style shit, like. Wait, let me see, let me see. Somebody says put your hands on your, oh, oh, no, no. It's gonna be the year of testing myself, setting new goals, setting new wrists. Just, you know, the whole fucking night. And I only wanna surround myself around people who are going to help me grow as a person. Like, I don't just wanna be hanging around bitches just to be hanging around, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, don't want to be around that type of energy but yeah y'all like I was saying like this year I really learned to uh, just you know protect my peace and that I can stand alone like I don't need to be around people or you know be around people that are only genuine and you know cool fuck I was saying my camera just died oh that um I just want to be around genuine people because this year has really taught me that I can stand alone and I'm alone for a reason and and but don't be afraid to be by yourself because I'll be by myself 99.9% .9 of the time what else has this year taught me that I need to stop being scary and let shit just play out on it own. Ooh, so cute. Oh my God, this is so cute. I just love this hairstyle. Can we take my picture, picture? You want a picture, honey? You want a picture? Yeah, you want a picture, honey? <laughs> yeah, I want my picture, honey. And then I'm just gonna spray my baguette for the final touch, cause this is my favorite. All right, y'all. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check my description box below to check out you nice hair. This wig is so bomb. Looks like scalp, and you need it for the new year coming up, 2020. We slaying all 2020, okay? And that's just period. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to comment down below what are your New Year's goals. What are y'all, what do you want to accomplish? And what have you learned in 2019? So, I want to know. I just want to read y'all comments and just see if, like, I can relate to y'all. I always relate to y'all. So, yeah, I just want to see what y'all learned this year. So, that's a wrap. And I hope y'all have a good Christmas and New Year's. But I'll probably see y'all before that. I'll probably post some more before that. But if I don't. Cause you know how that goes but we're trying to be more organized so let me not say that let me not put that negative energy we're i'm gonna see y'all before the new year oh so yeah y'all i will see y'all next video and i love y'all so much bye